Okay, we're going to start back up while everybody's getting settled in. Not a bad time because you're all here for the attendance to go over what's going to be on the final. I have it right here in front of me. Oh, look at that. How many questions are there? Let's see. It's on printed on both sides of the page, and uh, there are 20 questions. It's worth 25 points. You get five points for taking it. You don't get those five points if you don't take it. But those five points came out of the in-class assignments that I X'd, so we don't have to worry about those points anymore. Anyway, so what's on the, on the final? So some of you might be spending this evening and then tomorrow evening preparing, so I figured I'd give this to you today so you know what to expect on Sunday. The final has to be given at 3 o'clock on Sunday afternoon, so you have to be here at 3 o'clock on Sunday to take this final exam to earn your five points automatically. And then you have the option of getting 20 more points if you answer these questions correctly. What are the questions? Well, they are multiple choice questions. Let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17 multiple choice questions and three non multiple choice questions. The three non multiple choice questions have to do with the subject matter of, uh, I'll just read you the question, how's that? <laughs> okay, so here's the question, it's question number four actually. Consider the tables in the blah 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 database given below. So you're given a list of tables and then it says number one, identify the primary keys and the foreign keys for each table in the blah 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 database. So you're looking at foreign keys and primary keys. It's kind of easy, actually. And then uh, draw draw an entity relationship diagram for the tables in the blah, blah, blah really, uh, database. All relationships must be identified as one to many, one, many to one, one to one, or many to many, using cardinality. So one of the questions is going to have you draw an entity relationship diagram given a description of a database and then answer some questions about the database in terms of what the primary keys are, stuff like that. Pretty easy, straightforward question. It goes along with one of the assignments that you did. Next question that is not, there's three questions that aren't multiple choice. So number two of the non-multiple choice question says, um, draw an ER diagram. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Convert the ER diagram in question, the previous question actually. Indicate the attributes and the keys of the scheme. So you're given a description of a database. One question is going to have you draw some diagrams. The next question is going to have you convert those diagrams into a bunch of tables. The third question is a normalization question. This is the one that's not multiple choice. It's a normalization question. We haven't talked about normalization yet. We're going to get there tomorrow morning, fresh, bright and early. We're going to spend tomorrow morning working on normalization, which is actually not too bad. So I'll kind of save that one for tomorrow morning. But what you're doing is you're given a list of two uh, tables in a database system, and you're asked to normalize it. And I'm going to go through the process of normalizing tomorrow morning. So hold that one. So those are your three, what I want to call hands-on, you can't just pick an answer kind of questions. So that's probably going to take about a half hour, probably do that part of it maybe maybe 45 minutes, depending on how well you can draw entity relationship diagrams or convert the diagrams into tables. You don't have to write any queries. No query writing. So what do you have to do? For question number one, it's a primary candidate foreign question. For question number two, it's a relationship question, kind of on the entity relationship diagram concept. Uh, let's see, number three is, uh, ooh, it's a join question, asking you about joins. So you want to know about joins, how to work with joins. Uh, let's see, I'm recording this, by the way, so if the person is taking attendance here, you don't have to worry about missing this stuff. <laughs> I am also recording this, and I'll put it out so you can see the, listen to this several times, over and over and over again, all night long if you want. All right, so uh, the next question, uh, multiple choice, is uh, giving you an entity relationship diagram and you're ask, answering questions about a picture that you're seeing in the entity relationship diagram. You're just asked a couple of questions regarding it. 
And you also have one on, uh, oh, okay, so you do have a question that's going to give you an SQL query. It says, which of the following statements contains an error? And one of these queries statements is going to contain an error, and you'll have to identify it. And then you're asked another query section, which, uh, which of the following is false about SQL? It's about SQL, essentially. It's a kind of a general kind of question. Um, there's one question on uh, structures of databases, general question on a you know database general concept. Oh, there's a couple more pages here. Let's see. Oh, let's see. We have another one, two, three, four. About four more questions on SQL, but they're not writing queries. And they're not looking at queries. They're just about query statements and things. So you want to be familiar, although you don't have to write any SQL statements, you want to be familiar with the select, how to, you know, how to join things, the different options you have with joins, um, the different things that you can do with SQL, what SQL is used for, basic database stuff. They're multiple choice questions. Um, they actually seem pretty easy to me, actually. But... Uh, you also have another multiple choice question on database normalizing. So you have to do a database example to normalize some tables, but then you also have to answer a multiple choice question on database normalization as well. I'm sorry, there's two. Two multiple choice questions on that. Uh, let's see. Another question on keys, another question on joins. Uh, another question uh, concerning uh, data elements. Oh, thank you. This is being recorded, so you can catch everything you missed as well. But, uh, you probably just listen to me anyway. So. <laughs> That's the entire exam, believe it or not. Questions on the exam. Now your opportunity. I have it right here in front of me. You can ask, is this on the exam? And I can say yes or no or I don't know. Well, no, I can't say I don't know. I have it in front of me. So. It's pretty easy, actually. It's not hard. I'm sorry? Say that one more time. There's only 20 questions on the exam, but it's worth 25 points. So you get five extra points just for showing up at 3 o'clock tomorrow uh, Sunday, Sunday afternoon. <laughs> Those five points were ones that came out of, they came out of the in-class assignments that I scratched. So I had points left over. I had to do something with them. So I'll give them to you. How's that? <laughs> Any other questions on the exam? So three questions that are not multiple choice. One of them does entity relationship. You have to draw an entity relationship diagram given a description of a database. Second one is you have to take that entity relationship diagram that you created and translate it into a list of tables. Third question is normalization. So you have to normalize. Given a couple tables, you have to normalize the tables. We're going to talk about normalization tomorrow. The multiple choice questions, there's a lot of them on SQL. A lot on SQL, but they're primarily on basic concepts. There's one of them that shows you a query and tells you which one's wrong. So the rest of them are just on query statements. There's one multiple choice question that's going to have you look at an entity relationship diagram and answer a couple questions on it. It's actually two questions that follow with the same diagram. Um, outside of that, can you picture pick this? Or, no. <laughs> I know, I know it's your camera there. I'm like, hmm. Can you can you actually see it from here? I don't know. Oh. Okay. No, no, no. I know. I know. It's, it's audio. I was just joking. Lighten up. It's Friday. <laughs> the weekend. Well, not your weekend. Not my weekend either. <laughs> it's not really a weekend. You have to go to school. All right. So well, anyway, we can revisit tomorrow again if, if anyone wants more information on this. And I will uh, stop this recording, and this will be saved as a separate recording, and I'll put it up on the LMS later today, so we can uh, anyone who missed it can take a look at it as well. So, so we'll see.